I've been given the time and place of a famous person's birth. I knew that he or she was someone in the public eye, but that was all. I had their address, and once I'd worked out their chart, I was going to go round, find out their identity, and see how accurate they considered my character analysis to be. Help! So we point to someone who, for whom communication was probably their main thing. So that's what they do, they convey something to the outside, you know, to the public at large. You know, maybe kind of unconventional. It might be someone who looks unconventional. If it's to do with pre presenting to the world. Okay. Obviously, human nature, curiosity and all that. While I was doing the chart, I, I was trying to guess who it was. And, um, but, you know, it's hard to say how much of my guessing has to do with astrology. Well, no, it's not hard to say, it's just easy to say, because a lot of it has nothing to do with astrology. But I do have to say that the thing that gave me the idea for who it might be, the inspiration, was one line in the uh, chart that, uh, about someone who maybe looked unconventional and did things in a unique, you know, sorry, a unique way. Um, and that gave me the idea it might be John McCreary. But if it's not, whoever it is is probably not going to thank me for that. <laughs> I wonder if I might be right. If I'm not, that's a huge coincidence. <laughs> Hi Jane, my name's John. <laughs> Listen, my star sign was absolutely right. It said a drop dead gorgeous bird stranger would knock on my door this afternoon. It's happened! Drop dead gorgeous, you're here. I believe in the stars. My star sign is right. Come to my abode. You are very, very welcome. Thank you. And well, it was hard to choose, but here is the possible candidate for the most surprising moment. Did I mention, I don't actually really like surprises. And you know what, nothing could have prepared me for this one. Was I right about little girl? Of course you are. No. <laughs> yes. Of course you are. Oh my God. Where you've got to now is brilliant. Um, now, I have no proof of this yet, but we will have it checked. I do believe the little girl's name begins with E. But um, this is who's been seen here and who's been running around at the place. I, that's really spooked me. And <laughs> in a nice way. You ain't seen nothing yet. <laughs> OK. <laughs> what we're going to do is let you take a photo because we can ask her, and I'm asking her, if she's happy to have a photo taken. My hand's shaking. <laughs> OK. <laughs> she was absolutely freezing here. Yes, because she's here. Seriously? Yes. She's round you, now. It's Emily. It's Emily. Did you say Emily? Um, you yes. said Emily, didn't you? Yes. Yeah. Do you think that's how it... I feel it is. OK. It, it, I'm absolutely freezing. Yeah, um, <laughs> it, 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 she's literally in that spot. Oh, God, it's coming my way. <laughs> I was still feeling sceptical. And then, this is kind of weird, because right where Angela said that the little girl was standing, and when she told me to take a photo, look. <laughs> Well, it's been an extraordinary year. Again and again, my expectations have been confounded. Again and again, things that logic dictates shouldn't happen have happened right in front of my eyes. You must have got pretty used to seeing me going, looking very, very surprised, because that was how I spent a lot of my year. As I promised at the outset, I am open-minded, but I'll admit that there were some subjects that I had preconceptions about. 
But again and again, those preconceptions were completely shattered, particularly in the areas of things like clairvoyance and tarot. I hadn't realized how closely related they were to things like intuition and gut instinct and all those things that we do know that we possess but don't necessarily trust. There's no doubt that extraordinary things do happen but there are often natural explanations for them and it's a question of whether people are looking for them and for one person something that has a perfectly normal explanation or could even be put down to coincidence is another person's proof of the supernatural. So have I changed how I feel fundamentally? I'm not sure. I believe the truth is still out there. But the other thing I believe is that this year, I went out there and I was privileged to get a little bit closer to it. Well, it's the end of that adventure, but am I going to stop looking? No way. See you. Marquita, she went down underneath the car. Hello. I just want to cry. I'm just seeing loads and loads of bones.